Hi, this is Mark Ganser, Technical Account Manager at EAC Product Development Solutions with this week's Tip of the Week. What we're going to talk about today is drawings that have multiple models, specifically family tables. Now, let's say I've got a, a view here on this drawing. All these views were made from one instance of a family table, and I get to this point and I go, oh, oh man, I made, I made these views from the wrong instance. I've done all this work. I've got to change models and start over again. Well, actually, you don't really. Let's go back and look at the model that's driving this, this part. If we go in to the tools, the family table, we can see we've got an instance here with some holes turned off. Let's take a look at what that looks like real quick. An extra bonus tip is you see how to use the preview window in the family table editor. And you can see this one's missing a couple holes here that aren't used that are right here on the generic. Well, let's close this off and go back to our drawing. On this drawing, I'm using the instance with holes, and I'm thinking, oh, man, I, I wanted to do all these views from the one without those two big holes. Well, all I've got to do is go to the drawing models. I'm going to add a new model. I'm going to grab the generic name again. But when I do, it says, hey, what do you want to add? Well, I want to add that instance. So I could use either of those models to drive views on a drawing. And we'll let that regenerate it, bring it into memory. So when I say I want to set what model I'm using, you can see we've got two of these. Now we've got another command. I'm driving all of these from that existing model. So I can go into drawing models. I can say I want to replace one of the models I've been using to drive views with another. And say I want to replace this 2D one with the holes. I want to replace it with the no holes. And it's going to crank those up and regenerate those. And you can see it preserved all of my views, all of the dimensions, all the work I've done. But it's now using this no holes instance to drive it so the holes are gone. So you haven't lost all the time and effort you've been in documenting. Now, if you have any questions on this tip or any of the other tips, contact us at EAC. Or better yet, leave a comment in the comment section under this video. You can also follow us via social media, via LinkedIn. Facebook or Twitter. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.